Tonight, some of the rarest baseball cards on earth are about to go up for auction. And they come from a well-known doctor who lives in Tampa, actually passed away earlier this year. An incredible collection. Yes, it is. Dr. Thomas Newman's entire collection. It is valued at more than $20 million. Think about that. Baseball cards. Yes. Fox 13's Josh Cassio shows us tonight. His cards were his pride and joy. And soon, other collectors should get the same thrill out of them that he did. Outside of his day job as a neurologist in Tampa. He was a very good physician. He was the kind of physician that other physicians would send their family to. Dr. Thomas Newman had a secret passion, one that was so private it had to be locked away behind thick steel. So everybody always wants to ask, you know, where did he keep it? Well, this is the biggest safe I've ever seen. <laughs> Inside were some of the rarest baseball cards on the planet. Names like Mickey Mantle, Ty Cobb, Lou Gehrig, Honus Wagner, legends of the game. They were all part of his museum-like collection. Loved is what he called his paper babies. And since I knew him for 20 years, he's done something with his collection every day. Dr. Newman passed away in January at the age of 73 from COVID-19. His collection is about to go up for public auction through memory lane auctions beginning in June. More than a thousand pieces will be up for bid, but there is one that stands out from the rest. We have one particular piece you ask what is the most valuable. It's a 33 Gaudi gum card that was produced um, in 1933. And it is the only one that's ever been authenticated with a grade of a nine. It's expected to break the world record of $5.2 million for a sports card. The entire collection is valued at more than $20 million. You know, it's, it's a sad loss that we've lost him, but I really believe that we're going to celebrate what he's accomplished over these 30 years of, of putting together this amazing collection. He would have never sold it. As long as he was alive, you know, he was a collector. A passion that began as a child and never really ended. We have mementos that really aren't of value right. about his collection that, that we kept, but... They have the real value to you. They have the real value to us, yes. And the rest is going up for sale. Now other collectors can share in his passion. Of course, for a price. In Tampa, Josh Cassio, Fox 13 News. It's pretty amazing, and there's real history in this collection here. Some of the cards and memorabilia actually date back to the 1880s. Absolutely incredible wow. stuff.